very few scientists think actually about the communications right from the start of the project. And it is absolutely vital to ensure that research comes out of the lab, comes out of the peer-reviewed papers, and gets into society at large. Communication needs to start right from the beginning of the project. What's really important is that every single research project thinks strategically about where they want to communicate their message, and obviously be really clear about what their message is. Ask yourself questions like, what do we want to achieve with our communication activities? Who do we want to reach? And how can we best reach those? You've got to think about what it is that different stakeholder groups will need from you. Every topic can be made interesting. It's just a matter of framing it in the right way and situating it in a context that actually makes people care about it. It's not only about the results. It's actually about the journey that you're taking throughout the life of a project. Why are you asking this question? Why have you been given millions of euros in order to answer that question? And how are you going to answer it? That's all part of your story. You don't need to sell every detail of your project. You can just hint at it. And if you use a provocative message and nice artwork, then you can really connect with people on an emotional level. And that leads to a more genuine connection. You have all unlearned emotion and passion in the courses of your careers. You've done that uh -huh. because that's part of what being a scientist is about. Uh -huh. You're going to, in order to communicate it, you're going to have to rediscover that. Why did you start doing what you're doing now? You've got to redefine that for yourselves and you have to communicate that to the public. That's what comes through. When I have a guest on camera who's excited and thinks mm -hmm. that math is cool, 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 then he can talk about math for 10 minutes and you just want to watch him. You must communicate with purpose. What is it that you want to happen as a result of that communication in whatever arena it is? If you create an initial reaction and interest, which may happen through a mass media pickup of your topic, what do you want to happen next? What are you going to do with the people who engage with you, who come back to you with queries and questions? How are you going to take that forward? It's really important in this new world of communications that you think outcomes not just outputs. A few years ago, it was perfectly OK to talk about you printing 5,000 brochures. The question you now need to ask is, where did those 5,000 brochures go?